Okay, Jesse, so you didn't get the last one, so I'm gonna give you an easier one. A man is looking at a photograph of someone. His friend asks, who is it? The man replies, oh, just brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father is my father's son. Oh my god, I'm already... <laughs> We've already failed. <laughs> who was in the photograph? It's him. Huh? It's him. <laughs> that man's father is my father's son. Say that one more time. <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> no, Jesse! The internet's like, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I know, this is like, oh, <laughs> just like, <laughs> the internet's gonna come for you, bro. It's his son. This man's father is my father's son. Oh my god. <laughs> What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. If you've been following us all month long, you know we are doing a month of meal prep. And this week, the theme is all about the Mediterranean diet. It is my preferred style of eating because it's just so delicious and nutritious with fresh ingredients and tons and tons of flavor. So I went to Instagram recently and I said, hey, for Mediterranean week, what do you all want? Do you want a one pot recipe or do you want a warming soup recipe? And everybody said, Kevin, give us the one pot pasta. So today I'm gonna answer the call and we are going to make a delicious one pot lamb reginetti. I do not know how to say that, but I'm pretty sure that there are tons of Italians out there. Like, no, Kevin, it's Reginetti. Is that Reginetti. right? Reginetti. Reginetti. It's Reginetti, Kevin. It's all in the hands. <laughs> it's all in the hands while you do it. <laughs> if you're basic like me, you probably don't know what that is, but it's another name for pasta. Kind of looks like bow tie pasta, but with these really cool frills around it. You're going to see it in a second in the video. But the best thing about this dish is that at the end of it, the only thing that you have to clean up is just this one pot. Really simple. All right, guys, if you are ready to roll up your sleeves for this delicious one pot pasta dish, then let's get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is set a skillet on super high heat. Once it's hot, we're gonna lightly spray it, a little bit of avocado oil, and then we're gonna toss in some bell peppers. Oh, man. If you've never seared or scored bell peppers before, they're gonna get super fragrant and that's what we want. It's gonna draw out a lot of the flavor, so that way, whenever we add it to the pasta dish, you'll get a nice little bite of a pepperiness, and the peppers won't get lost in the sauce. Let this rest for about one to two minutes, and then we're gonna agitate it, and once it's got this nice blister on the outside, we're gonna take it out of the skillet. Now we're gonna drop the heat in the skillet to about medium, add the peppers to a bowl, and I like to take my skillet off the heat for a minute and let it cool down. Okay, so set the temperature now on a medium high heat and then we're gonna add just a little bit of olive oil because we don't need to add in too much fat because our protein today has a whole lot of it. I'm gonna add in some onions, some fresh garlic. Get this going here. You don't want the garlic to burn. We just want the onions to turn brown, slightly translucent. Now we're gonna add in our protein. Now our protein today, I'm gonna be using some ground lamb. I like using lamb from time to time. It's a great change up to your diet and it's packed with a lot of fat. And most people are like, oh, that's too much fat. But sometimes some of the fat's actually good for you. This is, lamb is packed with omega-3 fatty acids and also omega-6 fatty acids. It's also got a thing called CLA, conjugated linoleic acid, which you may have seen in some health food stores. It's in the fat burning section because it's got some fat burning properties. As the lamb cooks, we are going to sprinkle in a little bit of oregano. I love to add this to lamb, a little bit of dry thyme, and just fold everything together. This reminds me of lamb ragu. This is perfect. Now, the cool thing about this pasta is that everything goes in here, it's going to cook together. So, let's begin to add in all of the ingredients. Gonna add in our bell peppers now. I've got some Kalamata olives here, some black olives. Now I'm gonna add in some crushed tomatoes. For our pasta, 
I asked the internet and y'all selected Reginetti. Reginetti? I'm pretty sure y'all are gonna correct me, so just tell me. Okay, we got eight ounces of this. We're gonna fold everything together. Let's begin to mix. Okay, watch the heat of the skillet, make sure nothing is burning. And lastly, we're going to pour in some chicken broth or you can use some beef broth. We're gonna add in some bay leaves. Top it off with some sea salt and some pepper. Bring it to a light boil or simmer. Then you're gonna cover and cook this for about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, until the majority of the liquid has been absorbed and the noodles are nice and plump. Now I like to cook mine to al dente, so I'll take mine off the heat just a little bit prior to that. And after about 10 minutes or so, very nice. I'm gonna reduce the heat now because go all the way down or you can take it off the heat. Now we just want to fold in the spinach. Remember spinach wilts really, really quickly so we don't need to do too much here. All you're gonna do is just fold and just continue folding it. When you see the bay leaves, take those out. I love the beautiful pops of color here from the bell peppers. Chop up a little bit of fresh parsley. Then the last bit of work, I got some feta here. Crumble this up, a brilliant meal that you could whip up in no time. And the cheese is also optional. You don't have to, but I just like a little bit of pungent um, flavors whenever I'm eating pasta. And this one is just, uh, just brings everything together. Scoop out a little bit of this pasta. Imagine this for a weeknight meal. Beautiful. Got a little bit of everything. All right, Jesse, so do you eat pasta? No. I know, that's like a dumb question, isn't it? Yeah. It is a dumb question. It's like, there's a lot of food, and I eat a lot of it. <laughs> well, some people are like, you know I'm gluten-free. Uh, this is gluten-free. Okay. Actually, it's not. It's actually... Oh. You know, I'm actually not the biggest fan of like Italian food, though. But oh. I like pasta and dishes like this. Okay, so yeah. then I'm going to give you the first bite, then. Yes. I'm going to give you the first bite. Yeah, you can't I'm gonna... have any. <laughs> Don't know how this is possible, but Jesse actually is not the biggest fan of Italian food. Sorry. That's crazy. So I'm gonna give him the first bite of our one pot lamb pasta or Reginetti if you're not basic. Spinach in there, good. There we go. Mm -mm. Could you do it? Could you fox with it? Man, I could fox with it. Mom, I'm telling you. If you're like Jesse, <clears throat> you don't like Italian food, you will like it after this dish. This dish is amazingly flavorful, and what I love about it too is the little bit of lamb. The lamb in there just gives it a different complexity. If you've never had lamb before, just try it out. Trust me. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. I know you're gonna love this one pot recipe. Shout out to my Instagram family for actually selecting today's video. I went on Instagram and asked, and y'all selected this one, and it came out great. And I'm so happy that I did that and listened to y'all because, again, I will always say y'all have some of the best ideas when it comes to food creation and meal prep. If you like videos like this, I invite you to smash the like button below. Let us know that you're loving the content out there. We gotta hear from you peeps, so appreciate that. And I want you to also comment below how you would customize and tweak this recipe for you and your diet and also your family. We, we wanna pick your brain, okay? Don't leave the channel without subscribing and remember to ring that bell, ding, 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 so you can be notified every time we post hot new content just like this. You can follow me at FitmanCook on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter for some daily inspiration. Um, okay, I'll be honest. I'm not as active on Twitter. But you can still follow me there. And when I, <laughs> when I post, you can see what I'm posting. But definitely on Instagram and Facebook. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I want you all to keep it healthy. But of course, never, ever boring. Boom! Bye, peeps.